What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are here with a vlog for you today. It has been quite some time since we've done a vlog. I think it was December? December, yeah. So we yeah. thought it was time for an update. We've got a couple of things to show you guys today. So the purpose of today's video is pretty much to go over all the products that we have here. We've been telling you guys that we were going to do water cool builds and this week is finally the week that we're going to do that. But we also want to show you guys like an update to our studio New that studio, we did. This yeah. is the second studio. This is where we like build PCs and like start filming the PCs mm -hmm. now so that we've got two areas to film. So I guess we'll show you guys that first. Yeah. Before that, this video is brought to you by Govi and their Glide RGBIC wall light. If you've ever wanted to make your gaming room look like a spaceship, the Glide light is a great place to start. You get six segments and one corner piece included in the box, which allows you to create 90 degree designs on your wall. Each segment also contains RGBIC tech, which basically means it can display several different colors simultaneously versus standard RGB, where only one color can be displayed at once. This allows for lots of advanced lighting effects and smooth gradient flows between segments. They have full app control within the Govi app so you can customize them to your exact liking along with lots of scenes for you to try out to get inspiration for your room lighting. They have a music sync mode so you can use them to visualize all your favorite songs. And they also support Amazon Echo and Google Assistant so you can add them to your smart home and control them with your voice. To check them out and take your gaming setup to the next level, click the link in the description down below. So this is what it looks like when you come in. We've rigged up a studio area over here. So this consists of a few things. We've got the seamless paper backdrop, which you can raise up and down when you want to use it. We've also got these poles from Impact. They're called uh, Impact Vera poles. So we've got three of them to make this crossbar system. And this basically means that we can securely mount stuff to it and we can down light and put lights on it and things. We also have these bars from Godox, which if you've ever seen Nanlite tubes, Pretty much like that. They look a bit like lightsabers when they're on. And then we have our new desk. All right, and the cool thing about this desk is it's a sit-stand desk, so you can just pull out this lever and you can just hoist it up or hoist it down. We thought about getting an electric one, but honestly, we always keep it at one height. So spending the extra, what was it, like $200? Yeah, it was like an extra 300 I think. It, it was expensive. We didn't really think that we would need that to raise it up and down. I'm pretty okay with it exercising. We also have our new slider over here. So this is really cool. It takes up a lot less space than a regular slider because as you can see, it kind of slides over itself. And we can also position it at whatever angle we want when we're filming. So mm -hmm. yeah, really easy to use. We also, you didn't even mention this, we got a electric Lazy Susan. But anyway, I'm sure you guys are excited to see everything that we've got for the PC build. So let's go unbox them. So here's everything out on the desk. As you can see, there is a lot of stuff. And yeah, the vast majority of this, in fact, I think everything on the desk was uh, sent to us by Thermaltake and Aorus slash Gigabyte. So yeah, shout out to those guys. I'll give you a rundown on the stuff we're using. So all of this stuff is gonna be going inside the Thermaltake Core P6 case. I'll probably put a picture up on screen now or edit in some clips in post. The cool thing about this case is that you can have it two different ways. So if you want to run it more like a traditional case with the glass on the front, you can do, or you can remove it and you can remove a few other parts as well and have it more like an open style case, a bit like the Thermaltake Core P3 if you've seen that. Now in terms of parts, here is what we're using. So we'll start off with the motherboards. So motherboards was sent to us by Gigabyte. Me and Nate are doing two different builds. So she is going for like a full AMD build. I'm going for like an Intel slash Nvidia build. So we have two different motherboards here. One is an X570S ROG. The other one is the Z690 Aero G. These motherboards look really nice and they should act as a nice basis for the rest of our components. For power supplies, we're using the Tough Power RGB 850 watt from Thermaltake. We did actually want the white versions of this, but they didn't have them in stock at the time, so we just went with the black version. Now, the cool thing about these builds is that they are going to be our first custom hardline builds that we have done together. Nay has actually done a hardline build in the past. I'll put a picture up on screen now. It looked awesome. I haven't ever built my own hardline water cooled PC before, but I have built a few with my mate Paul from Battle Rigs back in the UK. In terms of the gear that we're actually using, we have the Pacific W7 Plus from Thermaltake here. So these are both RGB CPU blocks. They look rather nice. Uh, we're running some Pat G tubing over here, 16 mil, along with some compression fittings. This is the RAM we're gonna be using. It's the Tough RAM RGB, again, from Thermaltake. And each of these builds are gonna have 64 gigabytes in. So each one of these boxes contains two times 16 gigabytes. So you got 64 there and 64 there. These are the radiators we're using, 320 millimeters. And on these are going to be the Thermaltake ring quads, which looks sick. Now I think Nay is actually gonna be running 12 fans in her build. I think I'm running 
nine. And as I mentioned earlier, we wanted to run the cases in slightly different ways. So Ney has gone for the classic pump res. I decided to go for the distro plate. So this is Ney's graphics card sent to us by Aurus. Huge shout out. This is the RX 6900 XT Extreme Water Force. So it's a pretty crazy card. And this is gonna pair rather nicely with Ney Ney's Ryzen 9 5950X. I, on the other hand, are gonna be using an RTX 3090. So this came in the mail the other day. This is from uh, EK. We ordered it a few days ago. So Nene had a 3090 lying around that she wasn't really using. So I decided to order this water block for it, which is actually for reference PCBs. Yeah, the 3090 I think was from Dell. So this should fit it just fine. Of course, we do need to take the graphics card apart and fit this at some point, which we may do a video on. And then we also have this back plate. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna swap this out for an active back plate, depending on what the temps are. A few people have said the VRMs could really do with an active back plate, but we shall see. The last component for my build is gonna be the processor which hasn't arrived yet but it's on the way it's the i9-12900k so yeah i needed something good for editing so hopefully it should be good all right guys that is it for our vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it It was just a little uh, sneak peek into everything going on behind the scenes for these pc builds what is our next video going to be next video is going to be a review of the new alienware qd oled so mm -hmm. make sure you stay tuned for that because it's a super cool monitor i've been using it for like the past week mm -hmm. it's been awesome yeah, I think the water-cooled builds will probably be out from two videos from now. Yeah, so it should be out in like the next week. They take a little while to film because we're doing like cinematic builds. Mm -hmm. uh, but make sure you get yourself subscribed if you're not already. Yeah, usually builds like that take a whole week to do. A lot of people yeah. don't realize how much work goes into a whole cinematic PC build. And not only that, but like other content for other socials and stuff. So we'll make sure to have those videos up soon for you guys. But I think that's it for today. Drop a like rating if you enjoyed. You can catch us on social media here and here. I think that's it for them. Yeah. See you in the next one.